the uh, SpaceX uh, Dragon spacecraft is uh, targeted for launch on May 7th. And to uh, talk about uh, the progress and uh, milestones leading up to launch, we have on the phone with us from the Kennedy Space Center, Mike Horkachuk, who is NASA's uh, project executive for uh, SpaceX. Uh, good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, we appreciate you joining us uh, from the Kennedy Space Center. You're over there uh, monitoring the uh, progress for launch. Uh, how are how are things going? Uh, they're going very well. The hardware's uh, in good shape. In fact, they just uh, put the rocket and capsule on their transporter, um, and that rolls it out to the pad and uh, tilts the rocket up to vertical, getting ready for launch. So. Uh, in the last few days, they've uh, done the final closeouts and checkouts of the, the Dragon spacecraft and uh, fueled the Dragon spacecraft and have a good fuel load. So heading into uh, static fire, the, the hardware seems to be in good shape. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little more about the static fire. I understand that's scheduled for Monday. What does that involve? It involves uh, rolling the rocket out to the, the launch pad. Uh, starting fueling and going through the full countdown. So it simulates all the activities uh, leading up to a launch, fully fuels the rocket, and then it actually uh, starts the first stage engines for just a few seconds, make sure that they all uh, work and function correctly. So it, it runs for about two seconds and then shuts off. It'll check out all the automated procedures and software that the vehicle has leading up to the final launch. Since we have an instantaneous launch window for this flight, uh, they want to make sure that everything's working uh, correctly and we don't have any glitches at the last second. Okay, that's uh, understandable. Are there, uh, I guess that's a week out before launch, are there any other key milestones leading up to uh, May 7th? Uh, tonight, in fact, we're having a meeting with SpaceX. It's one of their internal meetings, their flight readiness review and rollout readiness review. So they have all the uh, responsible engineers in the SpaceX company report out how each one of their pieces of hardware and subsystems are doing and their readiness and uh, open work getting ready for launch. So that's a key review leading up to the static fire. And then after static fire, there'll be a, a lot of data review of how everything worked on the static fire. And then there'll be a final launch readiness review about uh, a day before launch. It sounds like uh, technically the hardware is uh, getting ready and there's uh, progress towards the launch after uh, it was uh, delayed earlier this week. They had been targeting uh, Monday for launch, but now uh, May 7th is the uh, target, right? It is. Yeah, there was a lot of... Uh, review of all the software and they had just uh, finished up a large number of uh, what they call HIDL hardware in the loop testing where they tested the software on simulators as well as on the actual vehicle and made sure that a number of different cases that they had uh, simulated were all working well. So they're spending a lot of time reviewing all that data and making sure that there were no little funnies in, in any of the activities that uh, resulted from all those different test cases. So that's a large amount of work, and they needed a little bit more time to go look at all that and make sure that all the software was functioning correctly. Well, that's uh, good to hear that it's going uh, through the process methodically, and um, you guys have been planning for this mission for a while, and I'm sure you're excited to be at uh, Kennedy and getting ready for the flight. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Oh, obviously, uh, getting the, the Dragon spacecraft deployed in orbit. Um, rocket launches are always uh, a risky business. Uh, if it was easy, I guess everybody would be doing it. But getting the, the capsule up into space, and then there's a, a number of new subsystems on the capsule. Uh, so this will have solar arrays to be able to collect uh, the sun's energy and help power the spacecraft. Those need to deploy correctly. There's a cooling system that needs to operate. There's some new staging events that are similar to what has happened on the previous missions, but uh, are slightly different interfaces. And then all the software, this is a fully redundant three-string avionics system on this vehicle, making sure that all those components work well together as well as in the space environment to 
all going to be critical to being able to come in and uh, birth to the space station. Yes, it sounds like there are several steps along the way that uh, people should stay tuned for and uh, monitor the, the progress of the mission. And I'm sure uh, we'll hear from you and other folks along the way of how that's going. Um, thank you uh, for joining us this morning. I'm sure, uh, again, we'll hear from you again here on uh, NASA television and hope all well, goes well down there at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you. I was looking forward to it.